Hey, what's up guys? It's Grant here. So today I'll be doing a giveaway of the Trend Micro Home Network Security Device. All you have to do is leave a comment in the comment section down below and you will be entered. I will be announcing the winner in a week. I appreciate Trend Micro for sending one of these devices over. I'll be talking about this in a minute here about how the home network security device can help secure your overall home network and better your home security posture. So thank you to Trend Micro and enjoy the video. I've been watching a lot of the Dr. Phil YouTube highlights lately, and now I know I could be using my time more efficiently, but the Dr. Phil show highlights are kind of addicting. You get quite the selection to choose from, anywhere from like uh, love affairs to YouTube stars. You have all the selections. So while I was in a binge watching session, I stumbled upon a video starring Kevin Metnick and he was on the Dr. Phil show. Kevin Metnick is a well-known security professional and researcher who has written many books within the information security industry. So what the heck was Kevin Metnick doing on a Dr. Phil show, which is usually like psychology and things like that. Well, Dr. Phil was covering a story about how hackers breached a family's smart home cameras and then they were able to troll their little daughter and it was quite a scary story. And most of these smart devices that they had in their home included a camera and microphone which were connected to the internet. Now, the breach itself is really not that surprising. Um, These smart home devices, also known as IoT devices, do not have the best security controls implemented and companies and vendors really are not taking the security first mindset approach so it's not that surprising to hear this what was scary about this particular incident was the fact that they had this little child in their playroom who was playing and hackers being hackers um, as the nature of most hackers they usually just troll and they were talking to this little child if you, you look at the perspective from like a mother and a little tiny child and a random voice talking to you in a room, it can be a little bit scary. And so it was, it was a little bit frightening to see this. So I hit pause on the video and I stopped my binge session for a moment. I asked myself how this family could have stopped this particular incident from happening. Now, it, for me personally, I would never install security cameras on in my home that is connected to the internet right now. I don't think most companies and vendors that are producing these IoT devices have a security attitude. They're not implementing any security controls. So until that catches up, I'm not going to install devices on my home or within my network. But this question led me to an additional thought. What were some actual ways that you could keep yourself safe while you are using or under your home network. And this is where I came up with PSM BFS or PSM I'm really not that funny. Really, it's particular strategies that you can use to stay safe online. The typical home network differs a bit from a business or school network you use while you're at work. Now, they both basically come down to the same thing, accomplishing the same goal, which is establishing a connection to the internet. Whereas your devices in a home network are all equal members within your network, business networks have the ability to be managed depending on the particular way it's set up. Devices on a business network are typically set up in a domain configuration and they have a domain controller. And devices on a home network are usually just part of a work group and they're all seen as equal. There's no hierarchy or organizational groups. There's just, they're all the same. Unlike a business network, a typical business network, devices on a home network are not managed. Meaning each device has its own set of user accounts, settings, and software updates. And although there isn't as many devices on a home network, typically speaking, than on a business network, It's every bit as important to ensure that you're staying up to date with the software for all of your devices and ensuring that you are implementing the best security practices. This leads me to the question, how do you maintain or enhance your overall security while using your home network? Well, PSM BFS or Really, it stands for Password Safe Browsing, Multi-Factor Authentication, Backup, Firewall, and Antivirus Software, and Securing Your Mobile Devices. Each of these strategies can really contribute towards an overall better security posture for your home network. 
And these are typically well known within the security industry. Managing your passwords, ensuring that they are strong and securely made is one of the most important controls that you can control. And usually you can do this by using a password manager. Browsing on well-known and safe websites is always a must. If multi-factor authentication is included, you should enable it. Making sure that your important files are backed up, and that's something that I even need to be doing more of. Ensuring your firewall is turned on and some sort of antivirus is installed, whether that be Windows Defender or another third-party product. And securing your mobile devices, making sure that that mobile OS is up to date and of course that all your apps are running the current versions and making sure that those apps are not necessarily malicious apps. The list of practices, products, and security controls can continue, but these are some of the best strategies that you can utilize when first starting out. What's important to keep in mind is to be able to protect, manage, and control all of your devices on your home network. The security strategies that I have mentioned are great ways to get started with securing your home network. Besides these specific strategies that I mentioned and maybe the ones that you can think of, um, there's actually some security devices offered out there which allow you to implement some of the security strategies that we've talked about while maintaining and protecting your network security. I've had the pleasure to unbox and use the Trend Micro home network security device as an enhancement to your network home security. And I'll be giving away this device. All you have to do is leave a comment in the section below. The Trend Micro Home Network Security Device, or HNS for short, protects, manages, and controls your connected devices on your home network while adding an extra layer of security and monitoring. All you have to do is plug in the Ethernet LAN cable into the router, as well as the power adapter, wait for the light to turn green, install the Trend Micro Network Security app, and add the pairing code for the station. Now, this device adds really two important controls to your home security, protection and monitoring. In terms of protection, the Trend Micro HNS device is able to access some of the default passwords on a particular device, for instance, on a router, and alert you if the password needs to be changed or if it's too insecure. This device also has a built-in firewall protection and controls used to stop viruses and hackers from entering your network. And it also blocks malicious websites and files from automatically being downloaded. Now, this is all great, but one of the best parts about the protection aspect of the Trend Micro security device is that it protects all connected devices. So instead of having the traditional computer or tablet that can be protected, you have gaming devices, smart home technologies like cameras, doorbells, and TVs, which are all included and they're all connected in the home network and therefore are all protected by this Trend Micro home network security device. In addition to the added protection, the Trend Micro HNS device has built-in monitoring which can be viewed and managed from the app that they provide. There's powerful and flexible parental controls which can allow you to block specific websites and set time limits for children. And this can all be controlled through the Trend Micro app, which is super nice because you can see the alerts if someone's using the internet at a specific time and if a website is blocked. The Trend Micro HNS device really enhances your overall security posture while implementing some of the most important strategies that we talked about in the beginning of this video. And really that's why I recommend this device is that it adds an extra layer of protection and then you can also implement the strategies that we talked about at the beginning. I will be giving away this device. All you have to do is comment in the section below and I will be contacting the winner a week from when this video is being posted. If you are interested in learning more about or using the Trend Micro Home Network Security Device, I have included a link in the description below. Dr. Phil, the Dr. Phil show would have given me a video idea. Well, video ideas really just come to me. But anyway, what do you guys think of home network security? Is there any particular strategies that you guys use that I didn't even mention in this video? You should probably try commenting below so that I can give away this network security device to you. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And until the next time, have a good day.